Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? All right, I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. Something popped out. What's that? Dog barking. Advice from a friend. So some of you guys, you may be receiving some advice from a, from a, from a friend. I feel like it's more related to a relationship. I feel like it's more related to a relationship. We have dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. Some of you guys, you're you're putting yourself or you're you gotten yourself in a sticky situation and you're seeking some advice. Okay, what kind of situation you got yourself into? We have pineapple, reconciliation. I feel like this reconciliation is somebody coming right on back around. I'm not saying that some I'm not saying that you guys are reconciling. Some of you guys may truly be reconciling, but I'm getting I'm getting a sweetness here with this pineapple. I'm really, truly kind of getting a sweetness here. I feel like this is reconciling. Like, I feel like this is just someone coming back around. I feel like for some of you guys, this is just something or a situation coming back around. Some of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys, you're in a situation where you don't know what you should be doing. Some of you guys, you may have more than one person to choose from and you don't know what it is that you should be doing. That's kind of coming through strong. Some of you guys, you're putting yourself in a sticky, you're putting yourself in a sticky situation. Yeah, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me a sec. So we have January and we have Yoke feeling tied down or frustrated. Some of you guys may feel a little tied down in a situation. I'm getting, I'm hearing a lot of situationships. Then we have candle. You will be shown the way. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And then we have January. So for some of you guys, there's something here that's coming in for you guys in the month of January. Some of you guys may be shown the way in the month of January. Candle, you will be shown the way. I feel like this is more so like that. This is more so Virgo energy. This is more so the hermit's energy being shown the way that talks about wisdom that talks about guidance that talks about taking a step back doing a full evaluation getting advice some of you guys you are getting advice some of you guys you may be giving advice but you for a lot of you guys you're getting advice more than likely from a friend itself why because for some of you guys you've gotten yourself in a sticky situation or you're in a situation that you're trying to figure out what do you do like what is it that you do some of you guys, you feel tied down. You feel frustrated in something. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody else. They themselves may feel a little tied down, frustrated of the situation. Somebody, Somebody's trying to be shown the way. Somebody's seeking some type of guidance, some type of clarity right now, present moment, as to how do they get themselves out of a situation. For a lot of you guys, there's a, there's a, there's a situation ship here. For a lot of you guys, I'm getting a situation ship. For a lot of you guys, I'm getting... Having to make a choice. There's a choice here. What do I do? Somebody here I'm getting an energy of. You may you may be stuck between a rock and a hard place. I'm going to say that. Some of you guys, you may be stuck truly, truly, truly between a rock and a hard place. Because I'm getting the energy that's coming through is two different. There's two different things going on here. <laughs> There's two different energies going, going on here. That's a big, big energy. You're gonna, you're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out. I feel like you guys, I feel, I feel a strong energy of you guys. You're gonna figure it out. You're gonna know just what to do. 
Yes. Yes. Give me current energy for my Virgos. The world. The world came out in the reverse. You guys got some unfinished business. Page of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. There's an offer on the table. Some of you guys, you got some unfinished business. There's an offer on the table here. There's an offer. Somebody's offering you something. They're not offering you anything big. Somebody's offering you something. They're not offering you anything big, though. What's influencing the world? Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Whatever this is, you're on the fence because you want it. King of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. You want it. You want it. I'm, I don't know why. I'm, I just got like you want it in all its glory. Like you want it in all its glory. Big, big energy. Big, big energy. King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is a person. For a lot of you guys, this is a person. So it could be a Virgo Taurus, Capricorn. Or this could be somebody here that offers. This is somebody here that may have money. Somebody here that they look, they look good in the sense that they have some really good characteristics. There's, there's something solid about this individual. There's a big, big energy of this. Something solid about this individual. Ten of Cups. You see a Ten of Cups here. You have some unfinished business. You have, there's a cycle here that's not closed out right now, present moment. Why? Because for a lot of you guys, you're kind of on the fence about what makes you happy, what doesn't make you happy. Some of you guys, you may be considering, do I reconcile? And when I say that, it doesn't mean a full-blown relationship. Do I, do I play with this person for some of you guys? Do I entertain this situation for some of you guys? Some of you guys, there's some fear. There's some tension here. Some of you guys, you have a choice between two. You do. I see a lot of you guys. <sighs> a lot of you guys, you're seeking some type of clarity, some type of guidance. For some of you guys, it could be you or somebody else. Because I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm really truly getting an energy of you guys dealing with someone here. And there's, there's a frustration because for some of you guys, either you or somebody is stuck in something else. And there's a frustration here. And I feel like it's because you, you, you see how things could be so good. Because whatever, situ whatever this situation is, what I'm getting in this energy is like you guys, you see how things could be so good between you and someone here. Yeah, that's a big, big energy. Show me. Give me the current challenge. Two of Cups, Soulmate, Separation, The Chariot, getting things like, y'all, you guys, you guys. For a lot of you guys, there's someone here you absolutely know, Chariot, Cancer, Energy. For some of you guys, yes, there is two people here. For some of you guys, there, yes, there is two people here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Some of you guys, you're so freaking, for some of you guys, you are dealing with, I picked up this energy the other day. I picked up this energy the other day. For some of you guys, you're dealing with more more than one in more than one soulmate. More than one soulmate. And for some of you guys, there's a there's a there's a coming back around. Somebody's coming back around. The chariot cancer energy talks about travel. Somebody's coming. That's the challenge. For some of you guys, you got people popping up on you. You got people coming out of the woodworks. With that, with that with that chariot there, there's people that's coming out of the woodworks. This reading is going straight towards more of a love and a relationship reading. And really, it really and truly is. It's going towards more of a love and relationship reading. And your spirit guides are saying that, yes, you'll be shown the way, but it ain't going to be easy. <laughs> like I'm, not, I'm seeing because I see all the attraction. And again, someone wanting to reunite with you. Again, Ace of Wands, but I see you holding back. I see you guys holding back. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I see you guys holding back. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of chemistry. Some of you guys, you got yourself in a sticky situation. Or you feel like a situation could get a little sticky. You feel like a situation could get a little sticky. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a past person and there's a current person. Some of you guys, there could be two current individuals. But the energy is strong. The energy is strong. You have some unfinished business. There's some unfinished business right now, present moment. What really makes you happy? Because for some of you guys, you see your happiness in either direction that you choose to go down. Like there's a happiness that you guys see. And I feel like right now, present moment, you're trying to figure out what really makes me happy. What really should I do? For some of you guys, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Big, big energy. Six of Swords. 
Some of you guys are invested somewhere else. Look at that three of swords. Some of you guys, this is third party. Some of you guys are in something third party. You're invested in something third party. You've invested in something third party. You've already played around with something third party. Six of swords is telling me some of you guys, that situation is coming right on back around. That situation is either coming right on back around or you guys are returning back to that situation. You guys are still dabbling in that situation. For a lot of you guys, I'm definitely getting a situation ship. For a lot of you guys, I'm definitely, definitely getting a situation ship. There's some fear and there's some worries. Will somebody do it to me again? Will they do it to me again? You guys are reaching. You're reaching out to individuals, to your friends. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Some of you guys, you feel a little stuck in the situation. Feel a little stuck. Hmm. Some of you guys are going to be playing around with this situation up until the month of January. Yeah. Show me. This soulmate from the past. Wow. You're, you're separated from this person. For some of you guys, there's someone here. You're If you've been dealing with somebody that hasn't been... They haven't, they haven't been wanting to have a solid relationship with you. This person, they may, they have, they, it's, I'm getting third party energy. This person is, you may hear from this person right now, present moment, because this person may be going through something with their person. So you may be hearing from this person. Show me this past soulmate. How does my Virgo feel about this person? We have the four of pentacles. You're still holding on to this past soulmate. Mm, you're still watching them too. You're still getting readings on this person. You're still watching tarot videos on this person. You're still watching this person. Because you can't, you haven't let go of this past soulmate. You haven't let go of this past soulmate. Mm -mm. Why is this spirit? Why is this? because you see it because you see that ten of pentacles with this person ten of wands but there's been so much gosh you got the ten of cups ten of pentacles ten of wands man you want things you want things to just move forward like there's a big big energy like the ten of pentacles for some of you guys you're trying to hold on like this is mine. There's a big group of you guys. The reason why you're still holding on to this past soulmate is because you feel like that person's yours. Like somebody else can't have my family. Somebody else can't have my husband or my wife. Somebody else can't raise my children. Somebody else can't birth their children. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting that type of energy. Like you're still holding on to this because that's mine. Like I, that's a real, real big energy. For some of you guys, there's a feeling of there's a you visualized it you've already started working on it for some of you guys you've this is what you've been manifesting this is what you've been you've devoted so much time and energy into this and this is like no somebody else can't have that's mine big big energy even though it's been so burdensome even though it's been so so burdensome big energy big energy show me how does this past soulmate feel about my virgos how does this past so me feel about my Virgos? Ooh, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. This person wants you to stop it. <laughs> this person wants you to stop holding off, holding back. <laughs> like, this person wants you to stop holding back from them. This person wants you to stop holding back from them and to give up the goodies. Whoever this is. Because with that seven of wands, the seven of wands, yeah, six of swords, this person's coming back. This person, again, I'm seeing this. Again, I'm seeing this. Knight of wands, again, again. This person wants you to stop holding back from them. Whoever this person is, this person wants you to stop holding back from them. This person wants to come back towards you. But with that six of swords, you know, when anybody comes back with that six of swords, they're whipping that corner with that same BS that they had the last time. That BS hasn't gone anywhere. Seven of Wands, they really truly just kind of want you to unblock them. Like, they want you to unblock them. They want you to let those, put those wands down. They want you to stop resisting. They want you to stop fighting. Because they, like, they want what they want. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. This person wants your goodies for the mass majority of you guys. For the mass majority of you guys, this person still wants your goodies and they want you to stop it. <laughs> 
they want you to stop it. They want you to stop holding back. But the thing about it is when I'm getting through this energy, what I'm seeing in this energy is that you guys want way more from this person than what this person wants from you. This past soulmate, what I'm seeing in this energy is that you guys want way more. And that's why some of you guys, you're having a hard time because while there's still desire, where why there's still a want for this, you don't feel, you don't see you getting what you truly, truly want. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, that's why you're trying to hold back. That's why you are holding back because there's an energy here of, <clears throat> sorry, you want what you want and you're not getting it. You haven't gotten it. Give me a sec. I'm like, I need something to drink. For a lot of you guys, that's what I'm seeing. Because worrying about reverting, worrying about making a mistake, worrying about reverting to something that didn't give you what you wanted to begin with. Because you want to be able to move forward. You want what you want. You want this. You want. It's not that you don't want the connection. It's not that you don't want the relationship. I'm not seeing that in this energy. What I'm really and truly seeing is that you want it all. Like that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like you want it all. And it's like if you can't have it all. Then you don't want any of it. And you're trying your best. I'm definitely getting an energy of you trying your best. To not give in. To not give in. Show me. Let's see. What's the... What's the obstacles here? What are the obstacles between my Virgo and this person? Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles talks about a loss. Talks about being left out in the cold. The devil. Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. So this person. For some of you guys, this person. They left you. They left you out in the cold for some of you guys. For some of you guys, this person left you. For some of you guys, it's 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 the toxicity. It's like you don't want to do that. It's like for oh, there's such a there's such a trying to trying to lose like a big big energy of you guys. Like really and truly, there's there's so much passion and attraction between you and this past soulmate. There's so much, and it's like trying to not lose yourself. Five of Pentacles. For some of you guys, this person could have left you. They could have really and truly left you out in the cold. But this is like trying to not lose everything that you have, trying trying to not lose yourself. See this awakening, this person still, Scorpio energy, Capricorn energy. This is making a judgment call. You guys are having to make a judgment call to move forward. But you're still emotionally tied to this person. You're still emotionally tied to this person. There's something that draws you. There's something here that draws you back in. Hmm. What draws you back in? Because there's something here that keeps drawing you back in. Let's see. What keeps drawing my Virgo back into this past soulmate spirit? That card just spun around. Death. Scorpio, in, Scorpio energy. Not being able to move on. Oh, four of wands. Four of wands, there's a disconnect here. There is there's such a disconnect. For some of you guys, it's because you're it's because you ain't got nothing else. <laughs> like that's what I'm kind of getting in this energy. For some of you guys, the reason why the reason why you keep getting drawn back to this person is because you have nothing else to distract you from this person. No one else to distract you from this person. For some of you guys, what keeps drawing you back in is that you don't want this to end. You don't want this relationship to truly end, this connection to truly end. For some of you guys, you are patiently waiting on this. You're still patiently waiting, thinking about divine timing. Because you guys are, there's a commitment. Some of you guys, this could have definitely been a marriage. For some of you guys, you could definitely, this could definitely be a marriage commitment. But still, I see the Six of Pentacles where it's telling me that you still, you still give more than you, more than you get. I'm still seeing where you guys are still giving more than you can get. But the thing about it is you're still so loyal. You're absolutely, you're absolutely, you're still so loyal. You're loyal to a fault. You're loyal to a fault. So I see an, I see a different energy here. I, I do see a different energy in this reading. 
And some of you guys, you have, you're dealing with someone new, someone relatively new that's different from this past soulmate. This person is different from the past soulmate. So let's see. Tell me about this person, this new person, the new soulmate. Tell me about this new person. Mm. This person's single. What did it say? Because I want you guys to see this. Look at this. This new soulmate. You got the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you guys, this could be a Virgo. For some of you guys, this could be another Virgo. But this person is single and abundant. This person is single and abundant. Ace of Cups, they have an offer here. This person is starting to have feelings for you. This new soulmate, yeah, they're starting to have feelings for you. But with the Eight of Cups here, this person could have tried to walk away from you, but they can't. Yeah, this person's all in their head. This person can't stop thinking about you. This new soulmate, whoever this person is, they can't stop thinking about you. They're all in their head. This person could have tried to detach from you emotionally. This person could have tried to detach from you emotionally, but they, they're unable to. They're unable to. They have been unable to. Who is this new person, spirit? Who is this new person? Nine of Cups. Mm, somebody that... If you haven't slept with them, they show six of cups, past life. This is somebody that you've known. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you've known for a long time. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you've known for a long time, but I'm also getting an energy of with this nine of cups. It's somebody that the sex is good with this person. There's some intimacy with this person. Whether you've had sex with them, yay or nay, still an energy. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you've already been with. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you have children with, that you've known since childhood. For some of you guys, you're coming back together with a baby mama baby daddy for some of you guys you're reconnecting with a baby mama baby daddy yeah you are this time around it's good or it's, it's it's telling me this time around it's good or this time around it's better there's something about this time around being better for some of you guys for some of you guys you're dealing with someone here this person could be a parent this person could truly truly be a parent but I like this person. I'm, I like this person's energy. I like this person's energy first and foremost because this person can take care of themselves. This is somebody that can take care of themselves and take care of you as well. This person has feelings. They see a potential here. Nine of Cups. This person sees fulfillment with you. I like this person's energy. And you know, we have this unexpectedly. You have communication coming in. Page of Wands. For some of you guys, this person could be younger than you or they can act younger than you they could be younger than you or they can act younger than you big big energy but unexpectedly for some of you guys unexpectedly you're coming into union with somebody that you may have not been in a relationship with this person but you may have known this person for a long time you may have known this person for a long time you're coming into union with this person That's a, that's a big, big energy. How does my Virgo feel about this new person? How is my Virgo feeling about this new person? This new soulmate? How does my Virgo feel about this new soulmate? Oh, two of swords. Why are you so guarded? Why are you so guarded? Mm, eight of pentacles. This person could work a lot. This person could work a lot. For some of you guys, you could work with this person. For some of you guys, you could work with this person. For some of you guys, this person could work a lot. For some of you guys, this person could have a lot going on. For some of you guys, this person could have a lot going on. That's why you're so guarded against this person. Why is this? Mm, nine of Wands. Look at that. You've given up before you even get started. You're giving up. You're throwing. You're giving up the fight before you even get started. The moon. You feel like they're hiding something from you. You're, you feel like this person is hiding something from you. For some of you guys, this person is too busy. Their schedule is very, very busy. This person may work a lot. For some of you guys, there's this person could be moody. Like, you're not really truly knowing how, how they really feel. Like, this person could be moody. Like, one moment they one moment you're good, one moment that you're not good. That's a real, real big energy. For some of you guys, that's where the frustration comes in. And for some of you guys, that's when you start to consider entertaining someone that you've already dealt with. And that's why for some of you guys, that's why you actually, you're actually seeking some type of advice. Trying to figure out which way to go. 
because you don't want to mess up something for some of you guys. There's an energy here of not wanting to mess something up, not wanting to jeopardize a connection itself. Yeah. So tell me, what's the potential outcome for my Virgos in this past soulmate? Potential outcome for my Virgos in this past soulmate. I don't know why these cards keep falling. I thought so. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. A lot of reconciliation. Ooh, Four of Wands. Look at that. Some of you guys, you're reconciling with this past soulmate, but it ain't gonna last. Some of you guys, you're reconciling with this past soulmate. You could be married to this person. You could marry this person. It's not gonna last though, the Four of, the four of Wands. There's going to be issues here, but there's a lot of love here. Hmm. Still, I see separation. Still, I see separation. Some of you guys are reconciling with this past, this past soulmate, but th th this is showing me that it's not going to last. I see the reconciliation, but it uh, is also showing me that it's not going to last, though. Why is this? Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Because somebody has too many options. Somebody keeps someone as a choice, as an option. Page of Pentacles, somebody is not giving. They're not giving enough to this connection. Not giving enough to this connection. Whatever you're getting is very minute. Very minute. Very much so minute. Yeah. Let's see. This wasn't supposed to be a love reading, but it just kind of went that way. It just kind of went that way. And I just kind of went with it. Let's see. This new soulmate. What's the potential outcome for my Virgos in this new soulmate? What's the potential outcome? Ooh, six of wands. Success, 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 justice. Libra energy. That's some good energy. <laughs> like, that's some good energy. We ask and we shall be, like, look at that. It tells you, 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 you will be shown the way. Your spirit guides are telling you, you will be shown the way. It talks about success. It talks about you guys being seen, being heard, getting the recognition that you deserve. Like somebody does, this This is kind of gives me something balanced, talks about reciprocity in some type of way, shape or form. Justice, Libra energy for some of you guys will be the person that you marry. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to have some regret if you go back to this past person. There's going to be some regret. I feel like I picked up this energy for some of you guys somewhat yesterday. Somewhat yesterday, I feel like I picked up some of that energy. Yeah. Tell me, what is what does the future look like? What's coming towards my Virgos in the very near future? What's coming towards my Virgos in the very near future? Nine of Wands. Okay. So this is your Wounded Warrior. Still an offer. Still stalking. Somebody that's put you through it is going to offer you something. Four of Swords. Here you go thinking about it. Some of you guys are going to choose to. Somebody that you're healing from for some of you guys is coming in with an offer. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you guys, you have someone here that, that has wounded. Like you're the wounded warrior. You have somebody here that has pushed you through it. And this person is watching you for some of you guys. I'm getting an I'm getting an energy of you healing from a situation and the situation coming back towards you. I, I, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of whatever situation that you've been trying to heal from. The situation is coming back in, but still I'm getting that page of pentacles. The page of pentacles is a new offer. Yes. A new opportunity. Yes. But it's very, it's on a minute level. Show me this page of pentacles. Tell me about this. King of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Somebody here that just wants your attention. Some of you guys are dealing with something same sex. King of cups. See, again, it's telling me the same thing. You, what you're wanting is so different from what you're getting. It's so different from what you're being offered. For some, this is someone here that has done you wrong. 
Someone, this, this is not, I'm not talking about this new person. This new person, I'm not getting a, an opportunity to truly do you wrong. Not of something significant. Not of something significant, but I'm seeing that there's someone here that has wounded you. Someone here that has done you wrong. Yes, they're coming in with an offer. Yes, this person is watching your social media. This person is watching your social media hard. And I just feel like it's somebody that just wants to see if they can still, if they can still get in there. There's still, a, there's still somebody else in this person's energy. There is still someone else in this person's energy. For some of you guys, this is definitely someone here that you work with. For some of you guys, this is definitely someone here that you work with. And the thing about it is, and for some of you guys, this is something same sex, but I'm getting like this person just wants to be seen by you. This person just wants to be seen. This person just wants, they want the intimacy. They want the, they want the attraction. They want the, the way that you make them feel. Because I'm getting that type of energy. This person wants the way that you make them feel. But that's not what I'm getting of in, in return. Five of Pentacles, still separated. Still options. Still somebody, they want what they want. Like, you know, there's challenges here. There's conflict. There's fighting. There's drama. There's other people involved. Still, there's other people involved. Yes. For some of you guys, yes, the sex can be good with this person. But the thing about it is you love this person. You have feelings for this person. You still have, you have strong feelings for this person one way or the other. You still have feelings for this person. But not only that, you have strong feelings for this person. And still it's telling me the same thing. Whoever this is that has wounded you, they're still coming in with that same momentum. This person still coming towards you with that same mo momentum. For some of you guys, I do see you reconciling with this person. But as we saw, that reconciliation is not going to last for some of you guys, there's a, there's a frustration here. There's a frustration in making a decision and dealing with certain individuals. Some of you guys, you are seeking advice. Okay. But then we have fear, worries, and a tense situation. Because for some of you guys, you're in a situation ship. Some of you guys, you, you, you're, in, you're, you're in between a rock and a hard place. You're in between some two different individuals. Or you're just in between making a decision. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yeah, that's a big, big energy. Let's see. What's your advice, spirit? What's your advice for my Virgos? Acceptance and service. Okay. What are you accepting? Some of you guys, your birthday could be on the 22nd or the 6th. This is like, what are you accepting? Because with this service card, this tells me that you guys, you are, you, you are of service. What are you investing yourself into? What are you accepting? How are you being serviced? Like there's a big, big energy of you guys having to turn. Okay. How is this? Like, what are you getting out of this? What are you accepting and what are you doing? Like there, there has to be a balance. There has to be an equal give and take. And there's an energy here of what this is saying to me is that, okay, if you're not giving just as good as you're, if you're not getting just as good as you're giving, then what are you willing to accept and what are you willing to do in the, in the form of service? Is it balanced? Is it equal? Like, because in the service industry, you perform a service and you get what you're due, what you're owed in return. Are you undervaluing yourself? Because for some of you guys, whatever you're performing a service, but are you getting paid what you're worth? Just a thought. Just a thought. All right, my loves. Now that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. I have a little headache, so I need to go take some ibuprofen. Until next time. Bye, guys.